Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to make another cheesecake uh, recipe. It's really following in, in track with the cheesecake recipe that you've seen. Actually the cheesecake, cheesecake recipe I've posted is the first one I've ever posted. So you need to look for it and, and see what, how, what I do there. But what I'm doing is I'm going to do a cheesecake pan, not the circle one. Make it thinner and add chocolate, homemade chocolate ganache to it. Uh, I will have the recipe, the ingredients, and how to make the chocolate ganache in the in the area in the section below. But uh, you won't have the video because uh, the camera crew made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's start here uh, and I'm making actually two of them two different uh, two pans because one I'm going to take with me to work uh, tomorrow we have a special occasion I'm surprising them with this uh, new type of a cheesecake pan with the chocolate ganache on top uh, and this is going to be actually uh, gluten free one of my co-workers it has a high tolerance or intolerance for gluten. So these are crackers, uh, one and a half cups of crackers with a quarter cup of sugar that I put in a uh, food processor and uh, mix them together in there. Uh, and I'm going to add to them a half a cup of uh, melted butter. Now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to mix them and put them into a 9 by 13 uh, pan that I've already pre-greased and I put a sheet of uh, parchment paper and I also greased the sheet as well. So here I just want to quickly mix them uh, to form them, to have the butter get absorbed, the melted butter get absorbed into the crackers. But anyway, so... I'm making it gluten-free. The gluten-free crackers, actually, uh, you find them uh, most of the time in the same aisle, maybe at the end of the aisle, uh, where you find uh, the regular crackers. They might be just together with other gluten-free items. Uh, there isn't a particular brand that I've used. I found one, found a, a good box and uh, picked it up and uh, used it. So let me let me go get the pan that I'm going to... Uh, here, I'll get this out of the way. And let me go get the pan real quick. You don't have to... This is a deep, deep one. It's because I can't find the shallower one of the 9 by 13. So I, I have the deep one here. And this is what I'm going to use uh, for this one. For the other one, I'm going to use a 9 by 9. So let's start putting our crumbs over here. The, the pie crumbs. This is going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. With the chocolate ganache on top, mm. going to be a special treat. There, this is great. Uh, with the regular cheesecake, I usually also would put uh, to keep the top from cracking. I would put like you know water, a water bath for the cheesecake itself while it's baking. I'm not going to do that here. So there, and. Uh, now I'm going to shortly do the second one and uh, I'll come back and we'll, we'll put the cheesecake together. I'll show you how to do the, the filling. And I've already preheated my oven at 350. We're going to bake them for a half hour and uh, then we'll let them cool. Then we'll put the chocolate ganache on top of them. We'll let it sit overnight, but uh, obviously we'll have to take a bite before the overnight. So, or we'll let it sit for a few hours and then we'll take a bite so we can show you. And then we can test it together how it tastes like. All right, I'll be back shortly. All right, I've uh, started uh, over here uh, mixing our cream cheese and uh, sour cream. I have four eight ounce packs uh, at room temperature of cream cheese and 16 ounces of sour cream 
that I've started mixing them together. Again, they need to be at room temperature. You put them when they're not at room temperature, they're not going to mix very good. So I've started that. Uh, next, what I'm going to add to them is four eggs, one egg at a time. Then I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of sugar, uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I also want to tell you the ingredients I've given you right now isn't for the 9 by 13 pan. I, the reason I, I, this is usually what we do for the regular cheesecake. For the 9 by 13, I'm going to use half of it in that 9 by 13 pan and the rest in that 9 by 9 pan. Uh, or try to put a little bit more than in the 9 by 13. Uh, so if you're only making a 9 by 13 pan, just cut all these ingredients in half. And for the, uh, 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 you know, one and a quarter uh, cup of sugar, just take the calculator, 1.25 divided by two, and you get the answer. All right. Uh, so, all right, let, let's continue here. With the eggs, I, you gotta do one at a time. And I'll start, and I'm mixing it on slow. So, uh, once we, uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. Uh, shortly and if you want to see how the eggs is mixing in there you can take a look at it, 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 it it's creamy it's nice because i had the everything at room temperature see how it's already creamy and, and very beautiful there the eggs will bond everything together but the cornstarch will also help it to stay uh, firm after it's cooked so I'll add another one here. Nice, this is very nice. Okay, um, I'll uh, give it a couple, a minute or so, and then I'll add the second egg, and I'm sorry, the third egg and the fourth egg, and we'll come back and show you what we're doing. Okay, uh, I've, I've added all the, uh, the eggs there. I did uh, scrape the sides a little bit. I did not go to the bottom yet. I'll show you in a minute what we're going to do. Uh, now I'm going to add the one and a quarter uh, cups of sugar. As you can see, I'm also adding it a little slowly. I, as you know me, I like things to mix slowly within our cooking process and mixing process. There we go, look at that. This looks so beautiful. It's wonderful. So there's one cup. And here we'll have a quarter cup. And what's that over there? Ooh, a little sugar here. Whoa. <laughs> Just trying to distract the camera crew so I don't get in trouble. No, this is <laughs> Just a joke there. But... Uh, Anyway, so now I'm going to add the, the three uh, tablespoons of, of cornstarch. One, two, three. And I'll go ahead and add our two teaspoon of vanilla extract. Again, I have the tablespoon measurement. I'm just being lazy and not... Uh, getting the tablespoon one so I'll use, I'm sorry the teaspoon one so we need the two teaspoons and I'm using this one here just to save dishes I guess and here we go we'll let it mix until it's good and creamy but let me stop it and show you here real quick what I'm going to do uh, well I guess I'll, I'll scrape the sides a little bit too There's just a little bit of sugar there I want to see make sure the cream cheese see there's cream cheese that with the stand mixer it's not it doesn't reach it on the way bottom so it is the norm so if yours does that don't think something is wrong with it this is the norm uh, so there because i mean they can't touch the bottom they touch the bottom and what will happen is that uh, it's going to scrape and it'll ruin the, the, the holder and it'll ruin the 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 the, hold, the container and the attachment. So it is the norm. 
it's part of the engineering there. And then I'm going to mix it for probably another two minutes. I'm only mixing them on low, by the way. So on, on uh, the first speed, I'll mix it for two more minutes. And then I'll show you how we'll add it into the, the pans. We'll send them in the oven. You see how easy the cheesecake is to make? It's so easy. Uh, it just, usually you need to make it wait either in the morning and then wait till the afternoon, put it in the fridge throughout the day. So it'll settle really good. Uh, and after that, uh, we're going to be doing something special. I'll tell you about it in a minute. It'll be in a separate video, uh, something we haven't done before. And I was inspired by uh, somebody that posted it that also he was trying it. And we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, see you soon. Oh, welcome back. Uh, I uh, mixed them for a couple minutes. Look how they are creamy there. Can you see that? It's liquidy, but kind of, you know, less, there's a, like, a little elasticity in there. So we have about our 9 by 13. This is the one I use for lasagna. But I went ahead and used it here. I can't find my other little one, or at least the one that's not as deep. But it's okay. So I'm just going to spread the cheesecake in here. Again, I'm not putting all of it because I'm going to put some into the 9 by 13. I'm sorry, the 9 by 9. But remember, you know, if you're only using the 9 by 13, again, you do half the ingredients. You do the uh, two packs of cream cheese just eight ounce of the sour cream and uh, uh, the cornstarch I would I would I would put at least one and a half uh, one of the vanilla extract one teaspoon and also you have the, the two eggs uh, for the crust that I gave you the ingredients were for the 9 by 13 so do not cut that in half okay Okay, here we go. I think I measured it good. Let me see. It's good. I could see that in the glass. Yeah, I like it. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Make sure it gets on the sides here. Oh, this is going to be so good. Yum, yum, yum. All right. And, and we always love uh, everybody. I haven't had anybody complain about my cheesecake. I honestly have had people that don't like cheesecake and they say they'll only eat my cheesecake, uh, the one I've made, uh, uh, some uh, co-workers and things like that. Uh, so here we go. It's a little bit of cream cheese. I'm just mixing it a little bit and I'll just put it in here. There we go. We're done. Okay, well, I'm going to... Uh, Right now, I have the, my, again, the oven at 350. I'm going to put them in there for a half hour. And uh, let me show you over here. I'm putting them not on the lowest track, on the one right a little above it. Uh, our friend over here. Again, a regular cheesecake will take an hour, but these are a little uh, thinner, quite a bit thinner. And uh, there we go. We'll see them in a half hour. Our uh, cheesecakes are ready for to put some uh, chocolate ganache on top. And uh, the chocolate ganache is really easy to make. It's, it's really mainly he uh, heavy whipping cream and uh, chocolate chips that you would warm up, use double boiler, that's the best way to melt the chocolate. Then we'll put it over the, we'll mix it with the, with the warm, the heavy cream. Uh, I'll put, again, I'll put the how to make it and the ingredients for you uh, to make for just an, uh, the nine by 13 pan. So here, I'm going to put a little bit <clears throat> in both and then I'll spread it. There we go. All right, because here we have uh, more than just enough for this one, so we're gonna we're going to also put some in here. 
then we'll start we'll start spreading and see if we need this in here or in here. I think yeah, this is good. Hmm? Pardon me. <clears throat> I know the camera crew is obje camera crew is objecting to anything, but there we go. We're going to spread it here really nice and smooth. A thickness, what, uh, about a quarter of an inch? Maybe, you know, see how much you like chocolate on it or things like that. I know uh, we need to let it cool together before we truly eat it. <clears throat> but for the sake of time today, I'm going to try it before I put it in the fridge, to be honest with you and then we'll then we'll have it in the fridge we'll eat probably we'll eat more today and then we'll have more for tomorrow and after tomorrow <laughs> oh this is this is good this is good it's nice beautiful beautiful And if you're using you usually know, as deep as this one, it'd be easier, maybe a little bit, but there I improvise because I can't find the, <clears throat> the one that's not as deep. I wonder if it's packed away or somebody borrowed it or something. But uh, there, nice, this is nice, this is looking good. There. How are the layers looking over there now? Ooh. Look at that. All right. I'm going to move some to the... It's a good thing, actually, about <clears throat> using the glass one. I'm able to see how the layers are all the way to the edge. We will have happy co-workers tomorrow. Hopefully. All right. Should I put the rest here or here? Hmm? Here? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> the other one is going to uh, to work tomorrow. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta empty it there. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Let's. Uh, let me finish putting these here, and then we'll come back and taste it real quick. Uh, we're supposed to uh, leave it for about three hours in the fridge, and then we cut into it. But uh, due to popular demand, uh, that's not happening uh, <laughs> right now. Which, so what we're going to do is we're going to Cut into it and see how it is. Let's cut a slice here. I'll cut it enough like if we're going to cut through it because usually it's best to wait until after it's in the fridge, it's cool, it's settled. It's cool, but it's not settled. So there we go. That was the problem. It's, it's a, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, a user error problem. <laughs> it's like, why isn't it? Why is it stuck there? I kept thinking because I have the, the paper on the bottom. <clears throat> but beautiful. Look, look on the uh, on, the, on the inside here. The layers on the in there. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's the slice. Let's dig into it here. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to wait to taste it. The second it hit my tongue, I could taste the cheesecake, the chocolate, that flavorful uh, uh, crust, 
and the camera crew say, give it to me. You, take, you do tape by yourself. Give me this, give me this. So here, I'll, I'll take another one. Maybe this. <clears throat> Is it okay? <laughs> mm. Wow. Look at that. I've done cheesecake before where I put chocolate in it, but this is not like this with the chocolate ganache. I can imagine when this is all cold and in the fridge, how it's going to be. Mm. So, so flavorful, so tasty. Uh, our friends tomorrow will have a great dessert after lunch. It's a surprise, they don't know about it, so don't tell them. <laughs> All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends. Try it, let me know how it turns out. Cheesecake was easy. The ganache, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the, the, the ingredients and the recipe, it's really easy. Just a little, uh, and you saw the cheesecake, it's just, it's not really that much time consuming. Yes, it's cooking mainly on its own. And, uh, you're putting it into the uh, the stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, if you need to, you can do it with the with by hand with a really s stiff metal whisk. Yeah, you could do that, or uh, uh, and you can actually the cheese and the sour cream and the eggs. You can also use the hand mixer as well. Okay. Well, uh, until uh, next time, we'll talk later. <laughs>